Hello everybody, welcome to the Don Amot Showground here in Hilton Derby. My name's Tom and I'm very excited to show you around uh, one of our latest arrivals. So it's a Swift Elegance 560. Uh, it's a 2019 model. Uh, and what I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be just showing you around uh, some of the bits and features. So we're going to start off with the outside first and uh, we'll jump on the inside after. Okay, so it is a four berth motorhome, so it sleeps four. But as you can see on the outside, credit to its previous owner, it is looking in spotless condition. So at the front, we have your Alco hitch. Uh, just down here, you've got ATC on this uh, caravan as well. In the front uh, locker here, you have this mass amount of uh, storage. So uh, you've got two uh, roof of the two six kilogram gas bottles in there and huge amount of storage uh, just under there. All right, so dropping that down now. You've got four corner steadies on this uh, caravan, so uh, perfect for stabilisation when you're on site or storing it. You have an external shower point just there. Uh, you've got an onboard tank on this as well, so you've got two inlets. Uh, one that goes straight to your onboard tank and one that goes uh, it just misses the onboard tank and just uses your external source. Battery box is just in there, so that's where your leisure battery will be and where you plug in your mains uh, hookup. It's got the power touch evolution mover on this as well to give you the helping hand uh, parking up either on your driveway and storage or even on site. Your toilet set is just in here and you've got the pink chemical on this as well so it makes it smell nice and fresh uh, once you flush your toilet. Lovely alloy wheels on these as well. Moving around to the back. If you didn't want to use your mover and you've just got to uh, move it slightly and adjust it, you've got the handles on the back uh, which you can move around uh, if you did want to alter uh, the position. You've got your bike rack fitments just on the back as well, just there. Moving down this side, you've got a lovely uh, decal uh, either side as well. You've got your fridge and freeze events, external 230 volt socket just under there so if you needed anything in your awning uh, so it could be anything from a radio to a fridge to a heater that sort of thing storage which is accessible from the inside and the outside and then just under here which is smart you've got an external gas barbecue point uh, so what that means you don't need to get your gas bottle in and out every time you want a barbecue uh, you can just put a bit of gas hose on that and it'll come straight off your main gas supply if you are in your awning and uh, it's starting to get a bit dark, you do have an external light as well, uh, which is you can turn on and off from the inside. Uh, so if you're wanting to play that last game of cards, if you're outside, it's getting dark, uh, you can always uh, whack that on. Bin just on the door as well, uh, which is nice and handy. So we'll take a jump on him. If it's a hot summer's day as well, you do have a fly screen, uh, which comes across on the door. So, in the front, you've got lots and lots of storage up the top, just in here and here. Storage accessible from underneath here as well, so you can either drop down the front or you can lift up the actual slats. And these two bench seats does make into a, a, a double bed, so well camouflaged a little bit here. Slides out, you've got your uh, slats, and then it's as easy as the back cushion, so this one and then the same with the other one will lie down on top of it like that all right and that creates the uh, the front bed nice neutral interior. that's it yeah neutral very neutral interior it looks uh, looks spot on uh, at the top we have the swift control panel and the audi heating panel so you've got the wet system on this uh radiators around the perimeter of the van uh, to keep it nice and warm you've also got a radio built into that control panel as well so you can listen to your music little spin round to the kitchen so you've got a lot of worktop space to be working with uh, this does collapse as well if you didn't want it it can just two flicks of a bit under there it will drop down uh, and then like i say you've got a nice uh, inbuilt sink as well three burner gas hob and your electric hot plate just there and then your separate oven and grill just down below more cooking options you've got your microwave you've got storage either side of your microwave with your solar panel regulator so that's just in there because it's charging away at uh, the battery and even more storage just down below look so you got storage in there you got your um cutlery drawer that sort of thing all soft closing which is smart and down the bottom look you got loads of storage just in there okay spice track and stuff was in there huge fridge freezer so locks automatically so you just pull the handle and it will unlock and open up uh, you can run this off gas electric and it will run off your car battery as well when you're plugged into your car when you're traveling 
um, you can uh, run it off the battery. A few bits in there, you've got a uh, plug socket, TV aerial, TV booster box, that sort of thing is all there. And then we can jump on into the rear. So centre bathroom just here, so you've got the bathroom which uh, separates the bedroom to the lounge, which is nice. Nice size toilet, electric flush, like I say. Lots of storage in the top as well. Loads of little spotlights in the bathroom as well, so you're not going to be. Uh, it's not going to be dark. It will be nice and light. Separate shower with your shower door, so you're not going to get everywhere wet when you have your shower. Nice size shower there as well. And then when you're washing your hands, you've got a lovely blue uh, view and a massive mirror yeah. uh, just of yourself, just up there as well, which is uh, nice. You've got lights down the side of these mirrors as well, which make it look nice and smart. And then the huge bedroom area just here, so you've got a door either side, which do close as well, so you can have some privacy. Lots of storage, not just at the top, but behind these mirrors, there's a little yeah. uh, hidden wardrobe either side, but there it is a mass amount of space in there. Stored in yep, one. nice and stored away. And even more storage you, you've got is just underneath your bed. Absolutely huge, look. Uh, yeah. You can fit absolutely about anything in there. Lovely. And there is uh, a TV bracket molder just there. So you can slide the TV back on that and uh, watch uh, TV in bed. Real, real nice van. All these little bits down the side are your outer heating uh, radiators, so you know it's going to be nice and warm. Uh, the down other side uh, in the van, but really, really nice van. Uh, credit to its previous owner. Uh, it will be going on our uh, showground in the next ten minutes. So if you have enjoyed it, if you want to come and view it, my name's Tom. We'd be happy to help uh, and show you around this lovely caravan.